Hello guys, welcome. I'm going to show you guys how to create, a, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this over the web, like um, a, a, a background image on a website and it plays in the background with content. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. Let's get started. Um, here I got my CSS already set up. Um, and my document, my entire document actually already set up except for the text of the document that I, I'm going to put at the bottom of that video. I'm going to explain this. It's pretty easy. I don't I think I need to type it out and show you guys. I can just explain it. It's really, really simple. So what I what I did is the, the background of zero margin, zero pixels. The video tag is have an ID called BG vid. So if we scroll down, you see it says ID BG vid. So we're, we're, we're targeting that video and we're going to make that video 100% um, width and height of the screen. So we set position to fix, right to zero, bottom to zero. Um, the minimum width is 100%, meaning you're telling the minimum, minimum width it can be is 100% of whatever window it's in. Um, uh, minimum height, same thing. We want the width to auto, height to auto, Z index minus 100. The reason why we put Z index minus 100 because every element you put on a page come in at a Z index of zero or one, whichever you want to call it. So minus 100 is putting that behind everything on the page. So that's how we, that's why we put a, the Z index of minus 100. Background URL, which is river, um, that JPEG, and which I have an image in my folder. Let's call river right here. If you guys can see, here's my folder. And this is just a screenshot of the video itself. So when it first loads, it doesn't give you a blank background. Okay? And this on the background size 100% width, 100% height. So it will match the video. Um, video display block. Um, that's what we want to set as video display block. Now, this is just my div tag that has a text in it. That has nothing to do with the um, the video background itself. It's just telling it the width to be 25% um, um, of the window. Basically, it's just going to be this text, and it's just there just for show. It has nothing to do with the tutorial itself. Now, here in the video part of it, we're going to insert a video tag. So first, we're going to type out the word video, autoplay, loop, poster, and we want post to be river.jpg. If you remember, I told you guys, here's the river. That way, this will set a poster over the video as well. In case the video take long to load, then the poster will show and it won't look weird. And if you notice, the poster and the video look pretty much identical. So you can't tell once it starts playing. So we're just setting the poster um, for, the, for the video itself. So meaning it's just like if, if we didn't have autoplay on the video, and we were using the controls, then the poster will load in and the video wouldn't play. You'll just see the poster and once you hit play, then the video start playing. So that's what the poster is. You see this on YouTube all the time. You'll see a video, but you'll just see what, I can't like a screenshot, and then when you hit the video, it plays, it's something like that. Um, here we're just targeting the source, which mine is not in, mine is just in the root folder. So I just target river.mp4 and and that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and save all. That's all it takes, believe it or not. This code that's going to be there, you just need to put it inside there. It's for Internet Explorer 8, which doesn't show any of the HTML5 elements. So if you, you happen to have a client who get to your website and they're on a uh, Internet Explorer browser, um, it will try to play the video. If not, then it will give them this video background of River. That's why we have that there. Okay, so let's save this. And you know what? I'm going to close this browser and just open Firefox just to show you guys that it's actually working. Uh, let's go preview in Firefox. There we go. It's going to look a bit choppy and like it's moving weird. All the, it's just because of my screen recorder, why it does that. So, But nothing is wrong with the coding itself. It works perfectly fine, and it's just um, loading through. So, okay, so that's how you do that, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. I hope some of you guys were looking to, uh, you know, know how to do this, and this would be your answer to your solution. I'm out.